thing. So the first thing you want to do whenever you're looking at a limit is to try to plug in that zero, because sometimes it works. So if we plug in zero, sine of zero is zero, minus zero over zero, and this does not work. Zero over zero is an indeterminate form. We need to do more work. But fortunately, zero over zero is in form for L'Hopital's rule. If you get zero over zero or infinity over infinity, L'Hopital's rule says that the limit is the same as the limit of the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. Take them separately, no quotient rule going on over here. So the limit of the top is just a cosine of x minus 1, and the limit derivative, derivative of the bottom is a 3x squared, the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom. And now we evaluate again. So if I plug in 0 now, cosine of 0 is 1, minus 1 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0. We get 0 over 0 again, so we're going to do L'Hopital's rule again. And fortunately, we can see that we are getting somewhere because the bottom keeps getting um, smaller power. So eventually, this is going to be okay, maybe even now. So the derivative at the bottom is 6x. The derivative at the top is negative sine x. And we plug in 0 again. Sine of 0 is 0. All right, fine. One more time. Uh, this is going to be negative cosine of x over 6 when we take the derivatives again. Now, finally, we're getting a 6 on the bottom when we plug in 0, so no more 0 over 0 for us. Cosine of 0 is 1, so negative 1 over 6, so that's our answer.